For most, the Beatles story starts with Brian Epstein stumbling upon the group in Liverpool in 1961. But the Fab Four readily admit that it was a German port city where they cut their teeth. Take it from John Lennon himself, who would famously quip, I was born in Liverpool, but I grew up in Hamburg. The Beatles played their first Hamburg gig in August 1960 at a club called The Indra, which Paul McCartney described as a baptism of fire into the city's sex scene. It's an unlikely set of affairs, so why did the Beatles find such an audience in Germany? World War II had brought Europe to its knees, but in the mid-1950s, American rock and roll turned the lights back on. Young Germans, like their English counterparts, were ravenous for the raw rock sound something the Beatles apparently knew how to provide. Learning to play as they went, they would perform another 48 nights at the grimy Indra. All members of the group were rowdy, tough, and possessed by a distinctive sense of humour. Yet the rebellious young Lennon was very much their leader. A second residency at the Kaiser Keller Club would see the band complete their roster, meeting Ringo Starr playing in his act Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. For the Beatles, it was these adventures in Germany that started everything. Upon their second return, the group's raw energy had only grown, winning them a loyal following. Word of their Hamburg performances would finally convince Brian Epstein that the group needed to be his. And in November 1961, he realised his ambition, or destiny, to manage the band. From here, the Beatles would advance rock and roll past the high watermarks of their American forebears. And as we know, well beyond what they ever dreamed. The rest, as they say, is history. Share with us any stories you've heard from the Beatles' Hamburg days.